Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the your computer's low on memory error you might be getting or pop up on your Windows device. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in system. Best magic comes up should say system right above control panel. You want to left click on this once to open it up. Now on the left side, you want to left click on Advanced System Settings. Underneath the Advanced tab, underneath Performance, you want to left click on the Settings button right here. Underneath Visual Effects, Processor Scheduling, Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory. Now you want to select the circle that says Adjust for Best Performance and click on Apply and OK. Now if you go back into the settings button we were just in. If there are certain performance settings that you would rather tweak with, if you'd rather enable some of them, some of these eye candy effects is another word for it, you're more than welcome to go back through and play around with it. It doesn't hurt and you can always go back to let Windows choose what's best for your computer. You can always change it later, but I'm just showing you guys how to maximize the amount of free memory you're going to be getting. It's not harming anything, but if you'd rather make it a little bit smoother with like the arrow effects and whatnot, you're more than welcome to go back through and play around with it and then click on OK as you do so. So once you've done that, you can go underneath the Advanced tab as well. And then underneath Virtual Memory, you can click on this Change button right here. You want to uncheck this box that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. And then you want to left click on Custom Size right here. Now you want to put the value underneath recommended, which in my case is 1024 megabytes, which equals one gigabyte of RAM. And I'm going to put that value in both the initial size and the maximum size. You guys will likely be different if you have two gigabytes, four, six, eight, 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's going to have a different size in megabytes. And then once you've ensured that these fields both match the recommended field down here, you want to click on this set button right here and then click on OK. You're going to get a pop-up saying that the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. You can click on OK. I recommend clicking on OK. I recommend clicking on apply and OK to get out of the performance options window. And then you can click on OK to get out of system properties. And again, it'll ask you to restart your computer. I recommend you do so and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.